You can see I got the water at a boil now, so I'm just going to drop these chunks of wax down inside, inside of them, and let them melt. I'm probably probably going to use too much wax, but that's okay. Okay, we're just going to let the wax go ahead and melt. I'm going to stir it up a little bit, help it help it melt. Then I'll bring you back whenever I'm ready to start putting the, the traps in. Okay, so the wax is melted and I'm dipping, starting to dip the uh, traps in. I'm not dipping them, I'm actually putting them down in there and letting them set for, for a couple minutes. I know uh, some of the videos I've seen people just dip them in, pull them back out just like candles. And I really don't want a big wax build up, I just want a coat of wax on them.
I do have uh, nails in between the jaws so that way it gets down into the jaws Uh, about just in the last couple I've done, I have to wait wait a little bit in between putting traps in there, so in that way the water will come back up, come back up to a boil. Three more traps to do. I'm not going to bore y'all with uh, with watching me dip these uh, traps in one by one. And I'll just show you. I've got them over here, hanging off of a shelf, cooling off. I'll probably leave them sitting like that for probably an hour or so. Let them cool off real good. Okay. I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, I'm I'm new to trapping, and I really don't know that much. I doubt if I'll even trap, but it is part of my prepper. Uh, for food food gathering and uh, I do practice setting the traps in different ways uh, I don't I don't go out of my way to catch anything I don't bait them I just I just see see what they look like once I set set them out and then I just bring them back in okay anyway if y'all have any comments or replies and uh, you know hints or anything just let me know because like I say, this is just part of my prepper stock. Okay, bye. Y'all have a good weekend. So I messed up on, on one of my recordings, my second part to this video. Apparently I forgot to push the record button. But I'll try to make it back up. Y'all already seen me 
uh, wax the uh, the leg hold traps. But anyway, before I wax the leg hold traps, I uh, I did die or let. I bought these traps almost two years ago, and what what I did is I let them set out in in the weather after I boiled them in vinegar and once they set out for I don't know it was probably a good seven months and they got after I boiled them then I dyed them using this for dye and anyway they came out real good you've seen seen how how black the uh, leg hole traps was these are my these are the uh, live traps mainly used for you know, cats, you know, or animals that are real nuisances, nuisance animals. I might would catch a rabbit or something like that in them and keep them. And anyway, I only got 12 traps. I got six leg hold traps, and I got six conna bears. I got them sitting out here, and these are not waxed. I was going to wax these, and I was told, no, don't wax them because they're too slippery but anyway you can see how how well the dye dye set in on them there's a few places that the dye didn't go over but for the most part they're they're pretty good as you notice they don't come off in my hands or anything and these are 160 conna bears the leg hole traps are one and three quarter inch and uh i have snares i have rat traps both large rat traps small rat traps i do practice primitive uh trapping you know with snares you know, squirrel poles that sort of thing deadfalls so I, and like i say the traps and stuff i'll probably never set them however i do practice uh putting sets out just just to see you know to keep in practice and practice see how they how they work out um mainly following guys that's on youtube i don't have i don't think i've ever known but one person in my life that, that trapped now it's gotten pretty popular down where i grew up at as far as uh setting leg hole traps for coyotes and fox because of uh you know, people people starting to raise more and more chickens but let me show you this this is the wax block of course the wax was wax block was about that that big that's only how much I used got plenty of that left and uh, anyway I do have some rabbit boxes uh, they're up under the trailer I'm not gonna dig the rabbit boxes out I made the rabbit boxes way before I ever started watching YouTube or doing any kind of prepping or anything like that but uh, let's see if uh, this wax is supposed to reset I hope it does uh, I'll let it set out here for a day or so and see if it solidifies and fire's about going out and I'll fill these traps see see oh yeah you can tell that they're waxed oh yeah they got a good coat of wax on them all the way up yeah, yeah don't scrape off just a little bit scraped off so that's pretty good oh yeah they're slick too got a little bit of over residue on them you can see they got a little bit of residue where I waxed them but I think they'll work out like say I'll the pepper stock and just for me to practice now for the conna bears I do have a, a trap setter it's inside the house and uh, so I did I have learned how to set them with with 550 cord but I agree with everybody instead of trying to set them with 550 cord it's it's safer easier to have bought just went ahead and bought a uh, traps excuse me a trap setter but uh yeah, these, these live traps, they're great for catching cats and kittens. I mean, we got a lady down here that she, she loves just getting cats, seeing how many she can keep around the house. Uh, we, we, ever since she's moved into the neighborhood, we, we spent this every, it seems like every year we go into a trapping frenzy trying to get all these cats out of the neighborhood. If we don't, living in mobile homes, they get up under your trailer, they'll tear out all your underpinning during the winter time. Uh, Plus, gardening, they like getting into people's gardens and they want to poop in the gardens. Then you go to go to 
to dig something up or anything and there you got cat poop cat feces along with all the flies that go along with it and if you feed birds or squirrels they're always after the birds and squirrels so we're always trying to get rid of them anyway right now right around our area we don't have none that's due to, to trap and BB guns okay and no I don't shoot them to kill them I shoot them to, to scare them off okay y'all take care and I'm sorry that I had to go back in and redo this video because of forgetting to, to push the record button but thank you for watching and I appreciate all you guys that put up videos on YouTube I may not comment on many of them but I watch I think almost 420 420 channels is what I'm uh, subscribed to and I I think last night I spent from 7 o'clock last night to 11 o'clock just watching videos and I you know unless something's really really neat that I, I've found or learned I very rarely you know, unless you're one of my real close guys that I follow I very rarely will I uh, comment but I like I watch all y'all's videos and I enjoy all of them Anyway, thank you for posting your videos. And if you do have any comments, questions, or anything, just give me a holler. Y'all take care. Bye.